on today's video, careful with the trap that is the Alliance Reclaim store. This video is a warning for you all, do not fall for it. I'll explain throughout the video where the trap is, how you can avoid it, and of course, which items of these you should potentially reclaim for some sweet, sweet Alliance credits and some tips and tricks to how to get the most Alliance credits out of whatever you are going to be reclaiming. So sit back, slap a like on the video. Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Boy oh boy, Alliance Reclaim is out after the update yesterday. It was cool and at the same time disappointing. I'm like, I like it, I don't like it. There is some traps in here and of course, I'm here to warn you about it. Before we start though, I am a sponsored content creator by Rise of Kingdoms. If you enjoy the content, consider dropping a like on the video and of course subscribing to the channel. Listen, I've had like a month worth of crazy work in real life and I posted less than I usually do. We missed a few days worth of posting videos and YouTube is essentially punishing us for it. And we're getting a little bit less exposure in the recommendations and all that through YouTube. I'd really appreciate if you shared this video with your alliance mates, with your friends in your discords, even if you, that usually don't take that extra effort. Try to do it and just hit one button, the like button or two buttons, the like and the subscribe button, just to kind of get YouTube to understand that me not posting for a day or two, for a couple of days in a week in a couple of weeks doesn't mean anything. We're a strong community. Anyway, the Alliance Reclaim Shop is a new thing in Rise of Kingdoms that was added in the past update, update 39. The way you get here is by simply going into your Alliance down here and then you click on shop. And on the third tab right here is the reclaim shop. Now, what you can reclaim is not necessarily what you can buy out of the shop. If you wanna know what items are available to buy, you can always go into the little cart and see what your alliance has available for purchase in their sh store. And of course you can see what other items you can put in the store in order to spend your uh, credits on. Now, the three most like coveted items out of all of these in, in theory, right, are the governor rename, passport page, and civilization change. Why? These three items are not achievable in any way in the game unless you spend gems or money. You can buy one of these for 10,000 gems. You can buy one of those. I don't know for how many gems. I haven't taken a look at the shop. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never used, I've used one of these like when I got a free one and that's it. I might've bought one at some point in life. And these are only achievable from either here or by buying the new bundle, the new world bundle. Now. The New World Bundle is one that is extremely punishing. Why is that? Because you're only getting 25 sculptures, sculptures, 25 passport pages out of a full pack. You're gonna spend 385 bucks on that pack right there <laughs> and get 25 passport pages out of it. So it averages about 15.4 bucks worth per passport page if you buy the whole pack. So. At that average, you gotta remember, essentially if you give it a, a, a quantitative value to the item, each one of these that you're buying is worth uh, a good 15 and a half bucks. Now, remember that when Lilith allowed this to happen for you to reclaim items, they're essentially aware of the fact that all these items can potentially get to a point where you don't spend one of these $15 times or you don't spend the five, 10 and $20 every month like I do because that's the best value for passport pages. Then the average is like six bucks, not 15. But you're essentially taking money away from them. Every single time you buy one of these with items that you've reclaimed, with the, the credits you've reclaimed, you're taking money away from them. So obviously they're not gonna make this that, that um, interesting, but it, it, they are gonna use it to lure you as a honey trap. This thing has a few honey traps laid in it and a few people fell for them very much. Let's start talking about the honey traps and what's better and what's worse to, to submit in this store. So as you can see, we can only at this point reclaim other items and blueprints. Those are the only items currently available to be reclaimed. Now, quite frankly, the values of these items are fairly cheap, but I understand why. At the end of the day, if they were to give us more than that for each one of those, I could probably end up with a few passport pages. As a matter of fact, someone that is a very big spender, shout out to my friend YY from Kingdom 230, 
kind of like showed us what he could do and did all the math and all that good stuff. And he ended up with like the ability to get almost 50 passport pages, 50 passport pages from reclaiming items, which is nuts. Can you imagine at $15 per piece, 50 items, that's what, 750 bucks less of him spending on passport pages? That's, that's a pretty big hit. So uh, the values in here make sense to me. They're trying to give us something, but not too much. It's primarily for those kind of like me who have been playing the game for so long, we have all this garbage items all over the place. Which items you should consider reclaiming? In the other category, I would definitely say that if we go one by one, the items that are, are, are the quote unquote important ones out of all of this are realistically all on the bottom part. Now, why is this? Whether you like it or not, currently Rise of Kingdoms builds up to level 25 when it comes to buildings. I have not heard of anything. I don't think this will happen anytime soon or even at all, okay? But there were rumors and pictures and photoshops and, and fake stuff about potentially City Hall 30, right? And so City Hall 30 means Academy 30 means Watchtower 30. Now, again, I'm 100% telling you, I have no idea about any information regarding this, okay? If it's coming, if it's not coming, if it's a thing, if it's not a thing. I personally don't think it's a thing, but for the 2%, maybe 1% chance of it being a thing, I would not re uh, rec uh, reclaim these two items right here. I'm not going to reclaim these two items right here at all. Now, I understand that most people were like, I just wanna get rid of all this garbage, right? But the matter of the fact is arrow of arrows of resistance are not worth 40 coins and neither are books. Arrows of resistance, I can see myself delivering some of them and I might exchange like 20,000 of these and keep like 47, but the books I'm absolutely not going to be reclaiming. And the reason for that is level 25 costs 5,000 of these. How much will 26 through 30 cost, right? So. A lot of people are like, finally, I can get rid of these. Re click. But what happens in a year when they release City Hall 30? All of these people are gonna be, re why did I do this a year ago, right? So I don't think any of you should be returning any books. The books should not be exchanged. It's just not worth it. And I'm gonna say the same thing about arrowheads, but all the way to an extent. Some of people that I've, I've talked to about this have expressed that they have like 200,000 arrowheads because they hunt barbarians every single day with all of their AP and every single KVK, they spend AP to hunt barbarians. At 200,000 arrowheads, yeah, you can go ahead and probably exchange 100,000 of them. I would not exchange any of your books and definitely keep some arrowheads. I'm telling you, if it comes up, y'all are gonna be really, really, really mad, especially with books that are so, 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 so hard to get for free and, and, and at a good rate that I would not be returning those. That's the first honey trap. These two items right there being able to be exchanged for credits is a huge honey trap. Do not fall for it. Now, the next item that is important are the purple stars. And the only reason for that realistically is because if other epic commanders will come out, you wanna level them up all the way to six stars if you'd like to. I am not gonna be holding onto all 6,500 of mine. I'm probably going to be exchanging 2,581 of them. Maybe I'll leave like four, three to 4,000 of these, of these stars on, in my possession just in case. But this is an item that you might wanna think about in case we ever get more epic commanders. You don't wanna get stuck without arrows and without stars. But there is a catch in here. Once you say, okay, I'll keep like 2,000 on me and the rest I'll sell, you should know that these are actually, for each one of them, you can get 300, uh, 300 coins. So 20 of these would be 6,000 coins. You could theoretically, and, and uh, you should, in my opinion, convert your 20 silver stars in here, that is 1.2 million food, for that 6,000 credits. Now, yes, you can only do this, ooh, you can only do this once a week, so you really wanna make sure you get this done and all that good stuff. I never bought these. I kind of regret now not buying these. I, I just stopped buying them because I had no use for them. It was like a waste of, of resources. But I'm gonna get buying these every single week 
and anything above the number that I want to keep is going to go for credits. The final thing you should know about this reclamation store, those are the, there's one honey trap, there is one item that is important for you to, to consider keeping some of, but the rest on the other category are really useless. Honestly, if I don't see a, a place where green or blue commanders will ever come out or that there'll be any use whatsoever to have to hold on to these arrow to these stars. The special stars are nice if you don't have stars, you can use these to get more crits or more experience for one slot. But when you have 6,000 of the regular ones, the special ones are kind of pointless. Out of all of this, I am most likely going to sell all of this. Maybe we'll do it live on stream tomorrow. 4 p.m. UTC, we'll be streaming some Rise of Kingdoms and we'll do this live with you all so we get to see all of our goodies and see the numbers go up essentially. I'm gonna leave that for us to do tomorrow. But I would, I'm would, i going to sell all of these and probably a good portion of these. I'll sell maybe 10, 20K of these, but also hold on to a good part of them. And I'm definitely not recommending for you to get rid of these at all. When it comes to blueprints, there is a slight trick. Personally, I'm selling every single white blueprint I get. There is no reason to hold on to them. We get boatloads of them from, uh, from Keys, from many other places. I keep buying them from the courier station. I've also started buying the, the silver stars from the courier, courier stations, the purple ones, because why not? But I would say that you should definitely sell all your white blueprints. And I'd go as far as saying that if you have all the equipment, the green equipment that you need, you can also get rid of those. Uh, the more important ones are the blues and above. Although again, I wouldn't sell anything that you can see potentially use for it in the future. So unless you have all the items that, all the equipment that you need and even a little bit more than that, then when it comes to the greens, you have a few spare greens with special talents for different situations. Selling them is amazing. There is a catch. When you sell blueprint fragments, you're gonna get 10 coins a pop. So 30 fragments for a full blueprint should be 300 coins, right? Well, if you exchange a full blueprint, you actually get 100 coins more. So you wanna make sure you're not exchanging fragments, you're always exchanging full blueprints. If you exchange full blueprints, you're gonna get a better, a better return on your number. And we can see that again in here. If we go take a quick, uh, a really quick peek at the greens, and I'm, I'm kinda gonna, try to do this very quickly in a, cause I think it's a hundred, a hundred coins too, but I have not done the math. Yeah. You get a hundred extra coins for essentially making the blueprint and then doing this. Now granted, uh, it doesn't cost you a single thing to merge these blueprint fragments. You just go in here and do it. I hadn't done it before because I wanted to make sure that we can sell full blueprints and not only fragments. So now that I know we can sell full blueprints and it's even better, the recommendation here is sell your blueprints, the gray ones, full and not in fragments. And quite frankly, I do not recommend exchanging any other, not blue, sorry, uh, the whites. I do not recommend exchanging any other blueprints with the exception of the whites, the greens, and maybe like the, the blues that you really know you'll never use, like a savage totem. I'm probably never gonna make these. Uh, I have 10 of these, 13 of those, like, I have them all special talented in, in millions of forms, so I really don't need all of this. I could, you can exchange some of them. I absolutely do not recommend exchanging epic blueprints, even if it's the gathering ones, keep them. Keep them, keep them, keep them. Understand that some items have a, a potential better value in the future. This is why I also don't exchange legendary commander sculptures in stage three of Eve of the Crusade. I hope and pray one day something will happen with them, but for the 50 minutes worth of speed ups or 50,000 food or wood, I am not going to get rid of a legendary commander sculpture that I've worked so hard to get or that I had to take a shot because it opened out of a key on stream. Wednesday, we have Liver Wars Wednesday coming up tomorrow on stream. Come check it out. We'll do some Among Us tomorrow after the stream as well, like a second stream with Among Us with you all and the members if you wanna join. With that being said, I'm gonna reclaim a bunch of stuff on stream tomorrow on both accounts. Hopefully we'll see you there. What do you think about this shop? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'm Gecko, I'm out of here. I appreciate every single one of you who dropped a like on this video, who is gonna share this video with your alliance mates, with your friends, with whatever it is for them to at least come by, check it out. Maybe they'll enjoy the content. Maybe, you know, they'll stick around and become part of the community. 
YouTube's punishing us a little bit, and I definitely deserve it for slack for not being able slacking. Well, I wasn't able to upload regularly like I used, like I like to. Working on getting back on the schedule, and I need your help to tell YouTube to stop punishing me. I'll see you all sooner rather than later. Enjoy the rest of your week and take care. Peace. My peace lately has been very different. Oy vey.